What's poppin' everyone? Welcome back to my kingdom. My name is Saint the King and I'm coming at you today with another YouTube video. Today, we're gonna be reacting to, for the first time on my channel, one of my favorite artists, Lyrica Anderson. I love Lyrica Anderson. If you don't know her, she's been on Love & Hip Hop. She's been on there for a few years now. Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. She has a, a husband, A1, that she's on there with, her mom and her son, Ocean. This is the first project that she dropped this year. I believe I've only heard one song off this album, but you know how I do. I like to listen to it with you, so I'm excited about this. I like to dissect the albums. I like to listen to it, and I like to dissect the lyrics and, you know, understand where the artist is coming from. Without further ado, let's get into Lyrica Anderson's Bad Hair Day. The first song on this album is titled Crashing Planes. Let's see what's popping. We both making the same mistakes. We both did. Yo, we should just crash the plane. Alrighty, that was the first song on this album titled Crashing Planes. I love the way she opened this up saying, insecure, I'm so insecure. And she said, lately that's been your main excuse and I'm always believing it. Like, oh, yo, I, I can only, you know, know what Lyric is putting out and what she's saying. And she's saying that she's tired of that. Like she's tired of, you know, using the insecure thing as an excuse. I feel you. She's saying she doesn't trust this person. She says she doesn't trust the relationship. She doesn't trust, you know, what's being said. She knows someone's DM and she knows, you know, when you lie, she can tell, she can feel it. Like she's sick of it, she's done. And she's like, who can, I, who can we really blame? Can we blame you? Can we blame me? We both made mistakes, we both, you know, stayed, we both done this and I so feel her with this. She's like, maybe we should just crash this plane. Yo, I love this track. Great way to start off. Great way to let us know how you feeling, what this album's gonna be about. I'm ready for the ride. I'm ready for the ride. The second song on this album is titled Marriott. I've heard this song before. You know how I do. I like to listen to it with you. So let's see what's popping. Okay, I get it. You need space now. You need time now. Just to pray. Do you let me like you said? Or was it for the bedroom? Blowing my phone, where was your son? He's straight, I'm straight, we straight. Yo, that's so dope. Like, what my son that He's straight. I'm good, he good, we good. Period. <laughs> hey. Oh, you made your bed, now sleep in it. Yay. Vacant like you did my patient. Oh, your talk is cheap. Hey. I'm gonna be here at the Marriott. I don't want you here. You made your bed, so sleep in it. Yay. All right, that was the second song on this album titled Marriott. I told you before, I heard this song before, but you know how to do it. I gotta listen to it with you. This song is just her saying that she's gonna stay at the Marriott. She don't wanna hear about the relationship. She don't wanna talk about the relationship. She's At this point, she's done. At this point, she doesn't care about you know, saving it. She's like, she don't want to talk. She don't want to hear it. You don't call your son good. He good. I'm good. We good. Like, she doesn't, she's done. She's at her last straw, you know? Clearly, we know it's not officially over because we still got more music, you know? Anything could happen in between this time period. Stuff could have been forgiven. More drama could have happened, you know? Anything. So, at this moment, we done. We fed up with his ass. We kicked his ass to the curb. He can't come and stay with us, you know? Period. Let's keep listening. The third song on this album is titled Plot Twist. Let's see what's popping. Oh, shit. Plot Twist, you pushed me in the arms of someone else. Yo. Hey. Hey. 
<laughs> he ain't even got no money. He can't do as much for me. Hey. Yo. That's the plot twist. This might be too late. Alrighty, that was the third song on his album titled Plot Twist. I really enjoyed this track. She started out by saying, the plot twist, like, you pushed me into somebody else, you know? Maybe you pushed me in the arms of somebody else. Like, you played this Russian roulette game, and now you lost me. That's the plot twist. Thought that I would always be there, but I'm, like, sick, and I'm over it, and I'm over this. Like, I know I miss you and everything like that, but you thought I would always be there. You assumed that I would always be there. I feel this. I'm feeling this song. I understand where she's coming from. Sometimes you, you can seriously love somebody a lot, but... You just have to, you know, not the fact that you don't want it to work or something like that. You've been trying to force things to work and now it's like, okay, I'm kind of over it. I'm over this. I'm over it doing the same stuff. I feel it. I get it. I understand. Plot twist though. I love this song. I love, I love, I love the concept. I love that someone said it. You push me in the arms of somebody else. That's really the plot twist. Get into it. The fourth song on this album is titled Act the Fool Interlude. Let's get into it. Period. That was the fourth song on this album title, Act of Full Interlude. And Liquor just talking to her serious, saying that now you don't answer the phone. When you don't, let's not forget, you was blowing me up. You was hitting me up. Let's not act like the girls ain't gonna hit me up and say that you've been doing X, Y, and Z. Like, let's not act like I can't act the fool with you. Yo, <laughs> Liquor kind of crazy, but she remind me of me a little bit. For real. The next song on this album is titled Act the Fool, the actual song. Let's get into it. Uh, a million niggas hollering every day. Seriously. But I'm declining. I don't want to hear you say it's hard to fight temptation. I go through it too. Oh, yeah. Oh, funny things about tables. They turn. They always do. Hey. Oh, you think I won't do you dirty? You must not know me. Million niggas hollering, pussy getting thrown at me. I'm still chilling. Oh, I don't want to hear how it hurts when I pull a you on you. That's real. Hey. Alrighty, that was the fifth song on this album titled Act of Fool. Oh, I love it. The, inter the interlude introduced it so well. She starts off by saying, you know, I'm not trying to pick fights, you know, I'm just trying to let you know. There's 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 people hollering at me every day R between girls, guys, like, and I don't want to hear you talking about you, you know, temptation is hard and all this stuff because you're not the only one who's tempted. You think that I'm just literally attracted to you. There's other people out there in the world. There's other people that, you know, that find me attractive. So it's all about, you know, being able to hold off on the temptation, not be lusting over people and everything like that. Realizing what you have at the at home, you know? Like, I get that, I get that. She, she She's speaking real stuff when it comes there. And she says, oh, you think you got the juice? Well, I got that too. Like, you wanna act a fool, I can act a fool too. I can do everything that you do. Everything that you do, that you do and that you, you have been doing, I can do that too. It, it's not a one way street, you know? I think this track is dope. I love that how she explained, you know, that temptation is not just on one person. It's on two people, you know. If you are out here tempted, don't you think I am? But I'm choosing not to. I'm choosing to stay with you. I'm choosing to only be with you. That's the relationship. The sixth song on this album is titled Notice Me. Let's see what's popping. Hey. 
that was the sixth song on this album entitled Notice Me. This was a song that's just explaining that I want you to notice me. I want you to touch me. I want you to look at me. I want your attention. I, I Everything that I do, I do for us. Everything that, you know, I've done it for this relationship, I've done for us. I want you to notice that. I want you to see that I've been here. I've been prompt. I've been in a relationship. And I need this in return, you know? Notice me. Understand that I'm here for us. I'm here for this relationship. Uh, she's pleading. She's pleading. Is she pleading? Because she, she could very well be singing from his point of view. Hmm. Get into it. But I'm going to take it from she's... I'm going to take it as she's saying notice her. Notice everything that she's done. Notice everything she's done for the relationship. I get it. I'm with you. And we're learning... We're in the feelings. We're we're developing. We went from being, you know, pissed off saying we should end it to going to leave and saying fuck this shit to saying you pushed me, me into somebody else's arm. Now then to saying, you know, you wanna act the fool, I can act the fool too. Now we're here. And now we're pleading to be noticed. And those are the different cycles of love. <laughs> Honestly, that's 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 what you go through. It's like just after everything, it's like, can't you see what I'm willing to do, what I have been willing to do for us? Love this track. The seventh song on this album is titled Faithfully. Let's get into it. Hey. Hey. Yes. Never gotta doubt it. So just tell me it's all Alright, that was the seventh song on this album titled Faithfully. With this track, we have, you know, gotten to a point where we're like, I'll be here for you whenever you need. I'll be here faithfully. Just specifically, truly for you. We're settled down, we boiled down, we've come to a common ground and we're open. We're still here, we're still available. I'm here whenever you need, I'm faithfully yours. The eighth song on this album is titled, Girls Have Fun, The Interlude. Let's get listening. Okay, 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 <laughs> I'm an empath, I felt that, okay, I'm gonna just go to the next song, I don't even got nothing to say, I'm gonna just go to the next song, the ninth song on this album is titled Girls Have Fun, if it's anything like this interlude that just went off, <laughs> I'm not ready emotionally, <laughs> let's listen. Mm. Hey. Hey. Period. Who said that? Who said that? Mm. Yes. Hey. Exactly. Exactly. Who said that I just because I wanted sex that makes me a hoe? Yo. Mm. Period. If I want to be single, I can. Oh, shit. Sometimes I get lonely because I be wanting you to hold me. But not tonight. It's not that night. It's not tonight. All right, that was the ninth song on this album titled Girls Have Fun. This was different than the interlude. It was a little bit different. It was more upbeat. She was saying, who said that girls can't go out and have fun? Who says that just because I want to say that makes me a hoe? Like, what they do that at? Who said these things? She said, I'm a girl. I can go out and have fun. I can go out and party. I can stay out with my girls. I can invite my bitches over. We can turn up. Like, who says that I have to just be chilling at the house and I can't do what I want to do? 
whoever said that was clearly wrong. <laughs> Cause liquor's out partying, liquor's out doing what she wants to do. Liquor's saying that it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you can do it, I can do it. Girls can have just as much fun. Girls can go out and party and do all the things that boys can do and not be considered a hoe and not be considered, you know, less than just because they're out and they're having a good time. Period. I'm with you, Lyrica. I totally, a hundred, a thousand percent agree. The 10th song on this album is titled Lifted. Let's see what's popping. Yes. All right, that was a 10 song on this album titled Lifted. This was a cool track. It was a cute, uh, cute track. It wasn't my favorite. I won't, I won't say uh, it is my my favorite, but it is one of the upbeat songs saying that she's lifted. She's high. She's she's feeling on cloud nine, basically. This person makes her feel on cloud nine. It's happy. It's getting happier. It's, you know, she's, she's, she's happy. She's happy, which makes me happy. So this is a cute song. I heard the 11th song on this album is titled Play Nice. Let's see what's popping. Mm. Oh. Hey. I love this tone that she's singing in. I'm loving that. Alrighty, that was the 11th song on this album titled Play Nice. I can honestly say I was lost in her voice. <laughs> I don't know what this song is about. I can't even lie, but I was just lost in the voice. I was lost in the, the production and how high her voice got. Um, I, I didn't think a lyrical could get that high and that falsetto, she sounded amazing. This song is a good song for me. <laughs> this was a dope track. The 12th song on this album and last song on this album is titled Brain. Let's see what's popping. Just use your brain. You ain't even gotta say too much. That was the 12th and last song on his album titled Brain. With this song, she was just saying that you should use your brain. You don't have to use anything else. You don't even have to think that hard. Just use it. Just literally use it. You could be with me if you just used it. Like, you don't have to touch. You don't have to use your touch. You don't have to use anything like that. Just use your brain. And it's really like throwing jazz, but it's really, it's really true as well. Use your brain. Get into it. We could be together. If you just thought a little bit more, if you just use your thought process just a little bit more, we could get, we could be on a better page than we are right now. I enjoyed this album. This is my top songs from between one and 12, how I was feeling. I really go by how I feel and my emotions and what I really like and what I'm feeling at the time. So, but this is my list of how I'm feeling with this album. I hope no one's offended by it, but this is just my personal opinion on how I was feeling with each song individually between one to 12. I wanna say thank you everyone for clicking on this video. If you have not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. After you see this video, go and look at my other videos. I have different artists that I've reacted to you might like. I'm sure I have a few artists that you listen to on a regular basis that I've already done reactions to. So go and check those out. Uh, comment underneath and tell me what your favorite song on this album was. Tell me what you would like me to react to next and what you would like to see on my channel. I appreciate every last one of you once again and I will see you guys in the next video.